another victim of this frightening illness, another victim from an ethnic minority. Black and Asian people are succumbing to this invisible killer and it's happening at an alarming rate. Nadir Noor was just 48 years old, a bus driver in London, a father of five. It's incredibly heartbreaking to have like my dad taken away so, at such a young age because like, like he won't ever see his grandchildren, he won't ever see you know, any of us getting married or he won't, he won't be able to, we won't be able to have any of those memories. His father is now amongst the more than 13,000 dead since this outbreak began, but it still is early days in this pandemic and the signs suggest black and Asian people are being affected by COVID-19 disproportionately. But the question is, why? Simply, this virus doesn't discriminate. Lifestyle choices, social and cultural ways of living vary in different ethnicities. And for the high number of deaths in these ethnic communities, their way of life could be a huge contributing factor. Despite only accounting for 13% of the population, many BAME people are key workers on the front line. 44% of NHS doctors and 24% of nurses are from black and ethnic minorities. Multi-generational living is also a factor. Bangladeshi households account for almost a third of England's 23 million overcrowded houses. Pakistani and Indian homes are also more likely to have more people in them. There are existing health inequalities too. People of South Asian descent are six times more likely to have type 2 diabetes than white Europeans. Certain communities of uh, um, ethnic groups are uh, more affected by the virus, whether there's greater circulating spread, whether more needs to be done to isolate certain uh, groups of individuals. That can only occur if we have more testing, more data and more analysis of what is going on, not just in hospitals, but also within the community setting. And today, responding to Sky News, the government confirmed they will carry out a review. We've asked Public Health England to look at this in some detail, uh, and then what we really want is if we see any signal at all, we want to then know uh, what next we can do about it to minimise risk. But to be at the, this point in time, whilst the age, comorbidity and gender is clear, this is not yet clear in terms of ethnic minorities, and we need to look at this more carefully and get this right. For now, a review won't prevent people from dying. There still needs to be questions and answers about why people from this community are being hit the worst. In Zaman Rashid, Sky News.